Colin, over to you to show how this transition transition can be significantly eased. Thanks, Tim. Okay, I would like to demonstrate two potential solutions to you. The first is using SSH tech tier to convert FTP to SFTP. And the second option is very similar, but using a vendor solution to route batch jobs to a SOX proxy. First though, let's talk about SSH tech tier and the solution to convert FTP to SFTP. FTP to SFTP conversion is implemented using the Tectia SOX proxy component. So the Tectia SOX proxy is installed on one of my LPARs and I have it customized to do some of this conversion for me. The Tectia SOX proxy acts as a SOX proxy for the FTP client application on the Tectia server for IBM the IBM Xeris host and captures FTP connections based on filter rules. So this is a configuration data set that you can go in and you can code up some of these filter rules saying or telling the proxy exactly what it is you want it to perform. The FTP connections are converted to SFTP transparently to the user and also to the FTP application. The only change needed in the FTP application is to change the SOX proxy setting to point to a local host listener. The SOX proxy uses the host name, the username and password information provided by the FTP client application to open an authenticated and encrypted SFTP connection to a secure shell SFTP server. The secure shell SFTP server can also be defined in the filter rules and this way the client's request for the FTP server destination can be overridden. So the following steps happen during the FTP to SFTP conversion. An application or a script or a user triggers a file transfer. The original FTP client in the file transfer client always starts opening a file transfer connection to the original destination FTP server or the file transfer server. The FTP client makes a SOX query and the SOX setting in the FTP client is set to point to the local host Tectia SOX proxy instead of a real firewall. The filter rules that specify which connections to capture are defined in the SOX proxy configuration and I'll show you that in a few minutes time. The connections can be captured based on the destination, address and or the port. The FTP to SFTP conversion module can extract the username, password and also the destination host name from the secured FTP. FTP application and use them for authentication and connection setup with a secure shell SFTP server. The FTP to SFTP conversion module manages the FTP connection so that it remains unchanged from the original FTP client's point of view and the FTP is converted to secure SFTP trial file transfer. The SFTP connection is managed by the Connection Broke module, so that's software that comes with the SSH Tech Tier product, and the Secure Shell SFTP server in the file transfer server host is the endpoint of the transfer. The unsecured original FTP server program can be eliminated from the server host, so you don't need FTP running on there. Tim touched on this as one of the solutions if you're planning to use the solution where you can actually tunnel information across. Remember Tim mentioned that there is a requirement to run an FTP server and that's all definitions that you can set up in the SOX proxy. Okay, let's talk about the second solution and this is the vendor solution I mentioned earlier. Pretty much similar to the one I just spoke about, uh, but this one is using SSH tech tier with vital signs for FTP or VFTP as we commonly refer to it. So the concept is very similar to the previous solution I just discussed. The only exception is that the VFTP client wraps around the standard IBM FTP client. This allows you to configure the VFTP client to route batch jobs to the proxy. So in effect, the VFTP client is being invoked as opposed to the IBM client. And I'll show you this in my demo in a minute or two. So what you could do is on VFTP, you configure these batch jobs when the batch job, when a filter rule matches the batch job or the, you, you set up a batch job that matches something in the VFTP database, that batch job will automatically be routed to the SOX proxy 
where the SOX proxy will then convert it from FTP to SFTP. And the big thing to stress over here is you do not have to make any JCL changes. So if you have a significant investment in FTP, this might be the solution for you to consider as you do not need to change your existing batch jobs or you don't have to take that huge undertaking to convert all of those batch jobs from FTP to SFTP. Let me provide you with a quick demo of the solution. And what I'm going to do now is just talk briefly about the VFT or the SOX proxy configuration. So this is uh, the configuration that you would use uh, on the SOX proxy and you can configure the proxy to do various different things. The IP address that specifies the target host or the IP address to be filtered. We've got a bunch of test connections here and I'll show you the last one which we call the catch or which might be something or the end goal for most customers to maybe want to send all batch jobs from the, the mainframe to a SOX proxy. The port attribute specifies the port to be filtered. It can be a single port or a range. Okay, so this is pretty important. The action attribute specifies the action to be performed when a filter is used for FTP to SFTP conversion. The action is set to FTP proxy. For transparent FTP tunneling, the action is set to FTP tunnel. So I think I do have one of those settings further down. There you can see on this particular connection, I have chosen to use FTP tunneling. Remember, with FTP proxy, you don't need a remote FTP server, whereas with tunneling, uh, there may still be there is a requirement to run the FTP server. The username from app attribute defines whether the FTP tunneling or FTP SFTP conversion extracts the username sent from the data sent by the application. And then lastly, the hostname from app attribute defines whether the SOX proxy should extract the secure shell server hostname from the data sent by the application. Okay, so this is the SOX proxy configuration. I'm, I've got the SOX proxy up and running in my environment. Let me show you that quickly. This is the SOX proxy starter task. We've got a few of them running on our system, uh, but it, it's running and it is already configured to uh, trap some jobs and convert them from FTP to SFTP. So what I would like to do is now show you the vendor solution with VFTP. I've logged on to VFTP. This is the user interface. It gives you complete visibility on all of your FTPs. With our VFTP client in play, you can see the context of FTP transfers. You can see now I've said for the last eight hours, show me all of the FTPs of all of the agents that's reporting to the server. There you can see there's some using FTP to SFTP conversion, bulk of them using unsecured and some using SSH. By clicking on those numerics, I can go and view each of those FTP transfers and view them independently and also see the session log for it. Okay, so what I wanna do is to show you how the product works, I'm gonna click on the configuration tab. Let's go to the client and now I've got in fact, we've got a bunch of different rules that do you know, various different tasks. I'm gonna select one called FTP SFTP3, and that is enforced only on an LPA called SDS1 or an agent called SDS1. It's set up for a job name, so this is the filter rule. It's set up for any batch job that matches ZFTP job star. So it could be job one through to nine, or ABC, whatever, anything that matches this filter rule. VFTP will intercept that FTP and it'll route it to the SOX proxy and the proxy will then convert it to SFTP. You do not have to make any changes to your JCL and I'll show you that in a second or two again. Uh, there are some additional operands that need to be added to your FTP.data. In my example, I've chosen to use a new one, but you can just put it into your existing FTP.data. That way you don't have to make any JCL changes. And then importantly, sessions for this job step must run across a SOX proxy. So I'm ready. I can now go and submit this batch job and let's go and have a look. So I'm going to switch back to TSO and go to, there's a batch job, ZFTP job. As you can see, it is regular FTP command syntax, doing a CD, doing a binary transfer, and then doing a put of a file. So let's run this particular batch job. Um, and let 
let's swap let's go back to stsf and let's do a prefix of zf let's go and examine the contents of this looks like it's already ended and let me go back down and just point out some of this information it's a very small batch job so ran very quickly there you can see the job name zftp job and it's applying the rule that i set up on my vftp client so you remember i pointed that out to you and without me having to do anything the proxy got in uh, without me having to make any changes to my jcl the proxy got involved the proxy converted the batch job or this the ftp to sftp and i didn't have to make any changes to my existing batch job so that's the beauty of the solution as i mentioned earlier if you have a big investment in ftp this is probably a solution that you want to consider and then lastly just to show you let's go and get some information perhaps for the last 30 minutes and let it get button all of this information can now be viewed on the ui and there's my user id let's get the the log uh, log data so suddenly you saw this on stsf but this is because our vftp client is in play you can now view the context of this ftp transfer so the exact same information you saw on uh, stsf okay so that was a very quick demo i know there's a lot of ground i covered there uh, but certainly if you need more information feel free to reach out to us and we can assist you with uh, providing you with more detail